and welcome to a new video. So today is the day of the actual Christmas minis and I'm wearing a Christmas sweater. But that's not all. Later I'm gonna have something on my head as well. So I'm going to put the Christmas backdrop on. I also went shopping yesterday just to buy some last minute like props. I was gonna go and buy Christmas cookies and I bought some like fun things for the kids to hold in their hands during the session. So I'm gonna show you uh, the first setup. I'm gonna take this one off. Later, I'm gonna have Christmas cookies and Christmas music on for my customers, which you'll probably won't hear in my video because of like copyright and stuff. Um, but you know, just the Christmas classics, the hockey ones. I'll be playing those for the clients to come in. I'll have Christmas cookies, no hot chocolate or anything. Um, so yeah, this one's off. What do I have here? Well, you could already kind of like see it in the other fragment. So I've got cookies, like Christmas cookies. So I'm gonna put them on the table. And I have like a little uh, stand to place the cookies on. Then I bought these, like a little elf, a um, snowman. And I bought uh, this one, which I think is really cool. So it's like a horse. Um, I have another one like this one that I use a lot so I might place those ones on the set as well then for the kids to hold are these cups so they can pretend something warm is inside so when they're like sitting there they can hold them um, reindeer and then for me to wear right now in the studio instead of like my warm Christmas hat where I'm like pretty melting. I think it's pretty cute. Um, so yeah, I got some new kitchen towels. So that's it. So I'm just gonna get it all ready. Um, start preparing and put some Christmas music on and then uh, the client should be here in about 30 minutes. So yeah, I have like a snow overlay that I put on the photos to make it a bit more like a three dimensional as well. Um, of course, I could have gotten like fake presents and put them there in the front, but there's also a chance that you see like a big difference between like the fake presents, which are like 3D, and then the backdrop. And now it's just backdrop, so it's all like the same like matte uh, tone. Yeah, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I also like it when people create like a real set, of course, with like 3D props, like no Christmas backdrop, which is like wood, and then they hang like banners, and they have like little candles, like fake candles are there, and books or presents, or like a real Christmas tree. In this case, it's just a flat backdrop, because I'm moving studio in exactly one week, um, and I have to downsize, so I don't want to buy any more props and stuff. And I think it's pretty cool, this backdrop. Like, it looks pretty real with, like, the snow overlay. Um, so let's go. Cookies. Time for cookies. first family, two kids, two parents. Uh, I do reserve about 
like I say that the session lasts 20 minutes I reserve half an hour per family so I have 10 minutes in between just to put everything back on the set so that if clients run a little bit late um, or they come a few minutes early it doesn't overlap uh, I do email them please do not come more than five minutes early not to uh, you know interrupt with the previous family uh, and also don't be late so I don't know like last year it all went perfectly fine none of the families met each other so sessions lasted 20 minutes and then I had five minutes to put everything back and then the next family would come pretty much I first started off with the kids on the bench sitting together uh, they could hold like the stuffed animals it always it's always nice if they could hold something I asked them if they could like wrap the arms around each other um, sometimes you can ask you know whisper something in the other one's ear they will smile most of the time maybe give a kiss on the cheek the boy really didn't want it but that was so cute um, then I had the cups so I asked them just to hold the cups maybe to blow into the cups pretending that something hot was inside taking an actual sip of the cup mm, not that it doesn't look that good in the photos because you see the bottom of the cup um, but I mean I still got some good ones then I had the parents sit next to the bench then I had to stand the parents behind the bench, like giving each other a kiss. And then I asked the kids, I mean, you can ask them to put their hands in front of their eyes or to give them a kiss to each other as well, like on the cheek and the boy didn't want it. So it's kind of cute. Um, then I removed the bench. So I had the kids, well, I think first the family standing together, the four of them, just holding hands and I would count to three. And then I asked them if they could like pretend to step forward one step. So it kind of looks like they're walking hand in hand. Uh, and just posing together as a family. I asked the parents to hold the cups and like to pretend to give the children a sip because it's nice if you if they don't just like stand there and look at the camera but if they do something. So um, then I had the kids together standing hand in hand you know they can interact with each other and then I had the kids individually and it was really fun because the little boy he wanted like to pull the horse so that looks really cute because of course outside in the snow especially because it's kind of like an old-fashioned look like and and you know the children can pull like horses and stuff or like wooden toys like cars whatever and this one actually moves it has wheels i bought it in the action for i think it was like five or seven euros it was cheap so um yeah that was it so that was the first session and um yeah, I will put like a snow overlay on the photo. So I asked the parents to dress the kids as if they were outside, like a jacket, hat, scarf. We can do some with, some without. Uh, and I asked them if they could already be dressed coming in here, because if they dress up while being here, it actually takes up a lot of time. Um, so yeah, I do have a younger baby coming in as well. I think she's like seven, eight months old. So maybe she's not wearing everything yet because you know they can spit up in the car and then she would have like um a dirty t-shirt or something so maybe they will dress her up here so i still have the changing table and we can take a few minutes to get the kids completely dressed up but it's nice if they already wear the base um so yeah it is 20 and a half 21 degrees now i didn't put it on like 22 23 degrees because they are wearing their jackets uh, but i think everything went really well and i think one backdrop is just enough so i'm just gonna stick to one backdrop probably now I'm going to wait for the next uh, family to come in about 5 or 10 minutes, so we'll see. And yeah, they really appreciated the cookies uh, at the end. And I asked them if they could eat them outside because there's a lot of like these little balls on it. And then the whole studio floor will be covered in these little glittery balls, whatever. Why do all the Christmas cookies have those little balls on it? Anyway, studio floor will be covered later on, but that's fine. Um, we're having fun playing Christmas music, so let's go to the next family. So yeah, in this case, uh, the baby was only five months old and the big brother 18 months. Uh, but she could like sit kind of like by herself on the bench and then the dad was like sitting behind it and the mom right next to it and she was like leaning over a little bit onto like the stuffed uh, animal toy thingies uh, so I got some adorable shots even of them together sitting on the bench and of them individually and she brought adorable outfits um, so yeah up till now everything's going well uh, they just left 
and the next family should be here in like two or three minutes uh, with two kids as well um, but we'll see next family Okay, so the family just left. Um, the boy didn't really want to stand or walk by himself, but I have some good photos of them. And now I have a three-year-old, almost three-year-old girl coming in. I seriously love photographing three-year-olds, almost three-year-olds. Uh, I mean, usually like a one or two year old, they're not really into the mood for photos and they don't really understand what's going on and just want to play or run, crawl away. But like when they're almost three, they kind of understand what they're doing and just a very cute little girl. Um, so yeah, we took some family photos, uh, but mostly the main focus was the girl alone. Um, and I actually, I, I think I prefer the kid shots. I should take this off when going to buy my lunch. Um, so yeah, I prefer taking the kids alone shots, but I think it's very important to do, to offer family portraits as well, because usually the parents already have a million photos of their kids, but they're never like in the photos with their kids or as a family. So it's um, cool for the Christmas card. And then I'm gonna buy some lunch and then, and then come back here. So I just have four families and then I now have an hour break. So I'm already gonna put some photos on my computer and then I have four more families, but it's going really fast. It feels like it's going really fast. Um, and it's fun and the set is working well and this thing is a showstopper. I'm going to show you a close-up. Look how beautiful it is. It's really nice. Uh, I think it's wood. Yeah. Or plastic. It sounds more like wood. Okay, so uh, I'll be back. Okay, so yeah, this also gives me some time to vacuum in between because everybody's entering with their shoes, which is fine and they don't have to wear shoes co shoe covers because their shoes are actually in the photo because uh, otherwise they would stand barefoot or on their socks in the snow. Which some families, their outfits were more like indoor outfits but they still wanted to have them outside, that's fine. So they don't have like the snow overlay probably. So I'll offer the photos with the snow overlay and without. I'm gonna explain at the end of the video how I put the overlay of snow in the photos. But anyway, have a break in between so you can maybe vacuum, clean the studio a little bit for the next family. As far as lunch, macadamia mix, salted, very nutritious. And I got a croissant and I'm drinking a cup of tea. So yeah, I still have half an hour left. Well, 20 minutes pretty much before the next family comes. And I've already selected all the good images from the first two sessions. Um, so I can start editing those. Everything's going well. So yeah, there's one thing I wish I had and I don't have it and that's like a, a smell, like a Christmas smell. Because the backdrops kind of smell like plasticky. Uh, so when you come in it has like a little bit of a chemical smell to it. And I love the smell of like Christmas cookies and cinnamon and cloves and just something Christmassy. So maybe next year I'll have like a spray so that it smells like Christmas or like essential oil that I can drop a little bit in the studio or like scented candles or something because now it just smells like plastic. So uh, I'm gonna finish my tea and then wait for the next family to come. So yeah, last year the two sisters were here as well and the younger one really didn't want to be in the photo by herself. Uh, this year it went a lot better but she still was very shy and kind of like a little bit scared of the camera um but at least i managed to get some good ones i'm really happy um uh, so yeah three more families uh and it's going well like i'm really relaxed and maybe next year i can have like a real center or something that would be super cool so yeah three images are included in the price uh it's 65 euros so yeah, I use Pixie sets. I actually use the free version still and I can have, I don't know, 30, 40 galleries open before reaching the storage limit. And by that time I can already close a lot of them. 
Um, so yeah, the images will be protected with my logo and text. So yeah, super sweet girl, year and a half. Now I have a boy who's five and a half and then a girl who's almost two. I photographed them before during mini sessions. Uh, so I think they'll like the cups as well and uh, the stuffed animals. And I think they're already here. So I'm gonna open the door for them. I just finished The last girl, beautiful little girl, she was also sitting on my beautiful curved bench and on the green chair and on the bench and wearing the Christmas hat and stuff. Um, so it was great to photograph her. I did forget to turn on my camera, but it's okay. I think you've seen enough, a little bit on how I photograph and um, yeah, which props I had and which worked. Um, so yeah, now I go and select all the good images so I duplicate them so I copy all the copied images to a new folder then I uh, open them in Photoshop and I cut off edges if that's necessary and then I play my actions which are pre-recorded and which I kind of made myself based on the test photos with my own kids over the entire folder uh, then I'll put my logo and the text do not copy on the images I upload them to pixie set Give the people their link to the gallery and their password they can log in select the images that they want so three are included and they can always select more and then pay a little bit extra they get them digitally high resolution oh yeah without logo or anything and then i'll probably add the snowflakes maybe to one photo as an example in the gallery and then i tell them like to the images that they select i will add the snowflakes so it's an overlay um and then i like uh, make sure that there are no snowflakes on their face. So that's where I erase the snowflakes. Uh, but I'll explain right now how I do it. So you open the image and you open your snow overlay. You select all in the overlay and you drag it to the image. Uh, so now it's completely blocking the image in a new layer. Uh, then you right click on your layer and you go to blending options. And when you're in blending options, you select screen. So that one right there, you click it and it's okay. And then it is transparent. You get the eraser tool and then you might erase some snowflakes which are in front of their face or which are just disturbing. Um, so now you can kind of like see it with the snowflakes and without, I'm just gonna show you in a second. Yes, there you go. And the client got both. So yeah, I hope that kind of makes sense. Next year, completely different set probably. And um, maybe I'll do it for two or three days so I can offer more openings to clients or yeah, who knows, maybe they don't want to come to my new studio because it's in the countryside and too far away. You never know. But thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Merry Christmas. And hopefully I'll see you in the comments and you'll see me in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. I actually have tons of cookies left over. My parents and my grandmother are coming over for dinner. So before dinner, I serve them Christmas cookies. Christmas cookies.